What's up everybody, it's Grayson from Moo and Jay. Today, I'm starting a brand new series for you guys, and it is called Lego Battles. I'll be taking two separate Lego sets of similar price range and just similar Lego sets, and I'll be comparing them and saying which one I think is better. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you want to see more episodes of Lego Battles. So this is actually my second time recording a video for this. The first time was what I thought was going to be my first episode of LEGO Battles. The video ended up being 15 minutes long, which is super long. And then halfway through the video, it got extremely corrupted and it just would not work. So this is actually my second time trying to record this, but I have different sets. So, let's get right into it with the two LEGO sets that I'm going to be comparing. Here are the two LEGO sets that I'm going to be comparing today. Both LEGO Technic cars. We have the LEGO McLaren. Very cool. 830 pieces, set 42123. And it is $50. And on the left, we have the Jeep Wrangler, 665 pieces, set 42122, also $50. Both sets being $50, the McLaren has 830 pieces, 665, so almost 200 more pieces on the McLaren. And you can for sure see the size difference in them. The McLaren is for sure longer, but... Let's see how this turns out, because they're both very, very cool. Let us start off with the Jeep Wrangler. Set sells for $50. Very, very cool. So we'll start with the front. Very detailed with the lights and everything. You got the hook, tow cable, whatever you want to call it. It does extend out extremely far and can hook onto things. It's just really painful to do, and I only have one hand, because I'm filming with the other one. And then over to the front roof, this does lift up into an engine in the inside, and you can see a sticker there that says Jeep V6. I don't know anything about cars, so no clue what that V6 means, but very cool. Off onto the side, you can see some Technic pieces inside the wheels, and everything. The door opens. You can see the inside of the Jeep. Steering wheel on the other side, which we will get to. Around back, you have the most noticeable thing, the fifth tire. But then you also got engines on the side. You can kind of see a little bit beneath. And then up here in the trunk, you got the trunk. You have this little wall that flips up and down. Then you have this little gear that you can spin. You might have seen the wheels in the front when you spin the gear do turn. So it can actually turn. And then over on this side, you got another door that opens, same as the other side. But on this side, you do have the wheel. And then you can see the control panels in there. So all around, really, really solid set. Very good. These front wheels do spin, but there's more to these wheels. So these wheels can actually move up and down. Like so. So if it has to go over a bump on one side or the other, which is really useful and a really cool feature in this set. And then the back also has a little bit of suspension. You can see... There's some springs going on right in there. So all around, a really good set. It's extremely sturdy. Nothing will break off. So let's move on to the McLaren. Next up, we have the McLaren. And this set has 830 pieces. And you can definitely see that in this size. If I take the Jeep and I put it next to it, it is for sure... A longer car so this uh, piece count for sure accounts in the size of this car 
Now you can see it is extremely detailed all the way through. Similar to the Jeep, there's a gear, not in the back this time, but front, that when you spin, your wheels move, your front wheels. Something interesting about this is in the back you can see the engine, and when it moves, the engine does move along with it, which is really nice. This set and the Jeep are the same price, and the McLaren is for sure bigger, but the Jeep has more to it. There's the wheels have suspension, they can move up and down in many different ways. The whole trunk opens, the roof opens, nothing opens here besides the doors. But same thing with the Jeep. So the Jeep for sure has more to it, but the McLaren is a very smooth car and definitely bigger than the Jeep. One thing I do have to say about this set though is the sticker count. As you can see, really detailed with all this little things, but 52 stickers. And I'm not one to usually complain about stickers in a Lego set, I don't mind them, but 52 stickers is an absurd amount. And it did get quite annoying putting on every single sticker on this set, and ones that you don't hardly see either. Which, I love the all the attention to detail with them, but still, 52 stickers, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the final review. Which car I think I like better? Which Lego set? Each Lego set is really good in its own ways. The McLaren is extremely smooth and it's definitely longer and just all around larger a lot more pieces than the jeep but the jeep has so much more to it it's got all these little details in it that aren't you know 52 stickers which is still insane that the sticker sheet was like this big it's i don't it's a lot both sets are 50 dollars uh, the McLaren has about 200 more pieces, a little bit less, maybe 180. Personally, the set I have to go with, the one I think is better, is none other than the Jeep. It just has this feel to it. You look at this and you say, oh my goodness, that is a Jeep. Car people will look at the McLaren and say, that's a McLaren. I'm not a car person. I don't know anything about them. So I looked at that and I said, that's very cool. But Jeep. <laughs> it's just got so many little things to it that I can't even show you. And it's hard to see over camera. But so many little things to this Jeep that just make it, in my opinion, a better set than the McLaren. Now, if you just want something sitting on your shelf... Maybe the McLaren can be better, it is a little bit bigger, but I think I still like the Jeep better than the McLaren. Both are awesome sets, both should definitely be sets that you might want to buy. They're $50, great price. But yeah, that's LEGO Battles 1. Jeep is my favorite car out of this and the McLaren, so... Let me know, do you want more Lego Battles videos? I can make episode 2, I have plenty of Lego sets. I can try and re-film re that first video I tried that was just absolutely horrible. So, let me know what you think, leave a like, let me know whether you would have picked the McLaren or the Jeep, and I will see you all in the next Muenjay video.